A grieving family hopes to generate leads in their loved one's unsolved murder case. You're watching 8 News at 530. I'm Deanna Albright. I'm Heather Hope. James Scooter Bird was killed in his home in King and Queen County eight years ago. 8 News reporter Cheyenne Pagan joining us in the county with the latest from investigators on where this case stands. During a press conference here today, that family says they just want answers about what happened. We, we've been going through this for eight years. We just need some closure. A desperate plea to the community. He was a, a, a good kid. Now family members and law enforcement coming together to ask for help two days before the eight year anniversary of James Scooter Bird's murder. His father, James Young, says that his son's death has had a lasting impact on everyone in his family. We got two kids, two little boys that's his that we look at every day and look just like him. So you can never forget it. Now investigators are hoping to stir up new information in his case. We are announcing a $10,000 reward for any information that leads to the arrest and conviction of the individual or individuals responsible for this crime. Scooter was shot and killed in his King and Queen County home along this quiet road in the early morning hours of August 16, 2016. A few weeks after his death, Sheriff Rob Balderson says a handgun was recovered in Richmond that matched evidence collected in Scooter's home. And because of advancements in technology, he explains the progress they're making in retesting old evidence and finding new elements. We are able to download Scooter's cell phone. Scientists at the FBI lab are doing comparative tests of DNA from the handgun uh, to DNA were collected from several suspects at the beginning of this year. We're anxiously awaiting those results. He added he believes whoever did this might still be in King and Queen County. Help us help the community on this eighth anniversary of Scooter's life being taken from his family and friends and let's solve this investigation together. Anyone with any information about this case is asked to contact the Sheriff's Office or the FBI. In King and Queen County, Cheyenne Pagan, 8 News.